Hi guys, Tim here from ECU Testing. Welcome to part three of our ABS how-to video series. This time I'm going to show you how to diagnose two of the more frightening failures on modern cars. Brakes not releasing, or the vehicle swerving under braking effort. <laughs> we fix lots of ABS units causing these problems from a vast range of vehicle manufacturers, but it's not always caused by the ABS. So I'm going to show you a few things to check to get your diagnosis spot on. Let's do it. There are two scenarios we should consider that will cause either brakes locking on or the vehicle swerving while braking. One, there is no fluid reaching one or more of the brake calipers. This will cause the vehicle to pull to one side on braking effort. Two, fluid reaches the caliper but it cannot be released. This will cause brake bind. So, where do we start? Let's start with the brakes remaining stuck on. As you can see, the wheel is very hard to turn, which is a common sign of brakes binding. And there are two possible causes for this. One, the brake system had a buildup of pressure which cannot be released. And two, the caliper function has failed. So, the first thing to check for is a buildup of pressure in the brake system. To do this, remove the wheel and crack open the bleed nipple to release any positive pressure buildup in the brake system. If the caliper releases, then you potentially have a fault with the ABS system and you should send it off to us for a full inspection and rebuild. If the caliper doesn't release, then it's possible you have a caliper fault. Common causes include the pistons seizing in the housing or the slider rails becoming restricted due to a buildup of corrosion. These can be repaired simply by removing the corrosion and greasing the slider rails. But if the piston has seized, then this may need to be professionally rebuilt by a brake caliper specialist. So, the best way to identify the failing caliper is to think about direction. If the vehicle is swerving to the right, we need to be checking the left-hand wheels as the fault always lies at the opposite side to the direction of the swerve. Check this by again removing the wheel, locating the bleed nipple and cracking it open. This time, pump the brake. You should find that there is little or no fluid reaching the caliper. Lock the bleed nipple off and now let's check the flow of brake fluid at the ABS unit. Firstly, find the correct brake line for the affected wheel. These are often engraved on the ABS block housing, as shown on screen now. Next, remove the brake union from the ABS port. Pump the brake pedal again, and if fluid is present at the ABS port, then this could indicate you have a failed brake line. However, if a little or no fluid is present at the ABS port, then you have a failed ABS, and you need to send it to us for a rebuild. Head over to our website for full information. Ah. Oh. She's not so scary now. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to be notified when we drop new content. Take care guys.